Hey guys, I hope that all of you are having a great Sunday. I'm processing some beautiful oversized greeting cards from 2005, it looks like. So, you know, we've got something about 15 years old that we're working with now. I'm doing a couple of things. I'm, I'm of course, uh, salvaging those images. I'm salvaging some script. I'm making different sort. Uh, sorts of uh, embellishments from the greeting cards. So just wanted to just, this is a quick video, just to maybe, you know, um, maybe um, encourage you to start thinking differently about the process of um, revamping, reusing, recycling these kinds of greeting cards. The first thing that it's really fun to look for when uh, when you have a card like this is to be cognizant of the way that they are constructed, right? So this looks like this, right? Um, but if you kind of look at it again, you know, you've got this little, um, I mean, it's almost like a pocket right here. It goes, of course, all the way through. So, you know, if you were making big-ish journals, which I'm not making big journals right now, you could sew the bottom of this together, and then you would kind of have a pocket right here. Since I'm not making big journals, what I want to do is separate these two pieces right here. Now, I kind of just run my finger in here and kind of just gently try to, you know, separate as much as I can. And, you know, it's tricky. But you know, if, I, if I try to do this with any other kind of tool other than my fingers, then, you know, there are mistakes made. So I really do try to just use my finger. Okay, so now what we have is a three-panel card with lots of interesting things going on. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to separate each of the panels. So there's one. There's two. And here's three. Another thing about working with older greeting cards, this is a new blade on my cutter, but they do sometimes rip. Uh, so you just have to, you know, I, I don't really mind torn edges. I think they're kind of cool. Now, there's not a date on here, and there's not a lot of script. Some of these cards have um, really eloquently written script on them. And if something looks like this, then, of course, I want to use that whole thing. And with something like this, then I turn the inside of the card into a salvage script page for a flow journal or a junk journal. So we've got this really sweet note um, from, I, th I think these cards were to Ida, and they're from Jerry. This one's from Jerry and Sam. All right, let's go back to what we were doing here. We know that we don't have a lot of script to salvage, so I'm, I'm not even going to go there. What I want to do is go ahead and make a pocket insert out of what we have left here. I know that we have this ambassador symbol right here, but that's okay. You know, sorry, that's okay. It's just fine to just keep these things on the on the cards, you know. And then we just made a three and a half by five and a half pocket insert to go into a flow journal pocket. So we've got this. This looks like it would be it would make um, another pocket insert, and then we only have just this wee tad over here. You know left so there we've got a couple of pocket inserts I'll put this in a chippy scrap then this I'm going to make into a bookmark so I've got one bookmark a plain bookmark two bookmarks 
and this is going to be the third bookmark. Everything needs to be to fit into the pockets properly it needs to be five and a half. I'm gonna cut this off. This is a great little chippy element, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. So we've made two pocket inserts, two bookmarks. Three bookmarks, chippy element. Now, let's figure out what we're going to do here. There are a lot of things that we could do. We could just cut the top off and we could fold it uh, and make it into a page. But what I'm kind of seeing is that the focal image here, I want to save this can be a bookmark too you just don't work with it that way you work with it this way it already has some cool texture going on put a hole in it and you've got a bookmark same thing here it looks like it is uh, done in watercolor but you didn't do the watercolor the card creator did Now this is turning out to be three inches by four and three quarters, which is a perfect size to fit into a pocket of a flow journal. Let's straighten this baby up because I think that it's a little, a little longer, five and a half. All right, so from one card, Let's just kind of check out what we did. We have one, two, three, four bookmarks. We have one, two, three little um, elements that look like they've been watercolored. And then we have two, three and a half by five and a half pocket inserts. And we have an embellishment from one greeting card, which is really super cool. You guys, these cards have a lot of paper in them. When I have a card like this, what, you know, I can't, I can't exactly cut this and, and, um, and use the image the way I want to, you know, typically you would turn it like this. If you have a bigger journal, of course, this is, this is a page and it's great. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this off camera and I'll just talk about it, is grab my two and a half inch stand, um, punch and just punch the front of the card. And I'll show you what we ended up with here. And these are sweet elements. And we just took, you know, that one even says blessings. I did not purposely do that. It's just fun to stand, to punch and see what you come up with. And there, and there. So beautiful. So we've got four of those to work with. <clears throat> I forgot to bring some water up here. I still have this part of the card. I can make a, a pocket insert for this. Just like that. I also see before I kind of chuck this, I see that I've got a little square right here that I did not punch with the two and a half inch punch. And that makes a sweet little focal image right there. And then I can uh, recycle the rest of the cards. So there we go. That's card two. Let's do one more. This is, these are wonderful cards, you guys, because this is a paper element that just kind of pulls out. So you just kind of grab the sides and give it give it a pull just like that this is an excellent focal image 
beautiful little pocket piece. I like to load down my pockets in my flow journals. If you've gotten a flow journal, you know that it is chock full of all kinds of things. I'm saving these as chippy elements. This is so lovely, very inspiring. And we'll do five and a half here. And then I also have this sweet little, um, another pocket element, you know, a stick in element that I can use. I love the scalloped look of this. Gonna take the front off. It says in celebration of you as you turn 90. Fold it. We'll see how big it is. I need to trim some off because this needs to be seven inches in all for it to fit in my four by six journals. So there we go. So we've got a nice little scalloped element right here. We still have this much of the card left. It's blank on both sides. I think what I'm, um, this is nice hefty paper. Let's do a pocket insert. This has made an art trading card. One, two, three, four, five. And we can use this for bookmark and there we go all right so from one card we have one two three four five six elements a lot of times you'll find cards that are they're bundled together in the thrift store uh, and usually like they're in a plastic bag you know and they'll be like a, a buck or something um, the last thing that I want to show you is another pocket idea. This is a card that says for someone special. Isn't that a gorgeous card? It says a birthday note right here. Hope you had a great one. Love, Laurie Watson, an old neighbor. It's really pretty. And these these are like expensive cards to me. You know, this is $3.69. What you can do here, you can do a couple of things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the inside part here. The, um, the, the bow here is a little bit discolored. So, you know, let's just lift that out. The cool thing about this is you can turn this into an envelope, you know, by getting your by um you know using a um a scoreboard and just scoring right here turn this top over and make an envelope or what i'll probably do is make a pocket out of it and i'll just sew here and sew here and put some sort of embellishment you know let's just think about i mean this is a card that i want to use another you know this is going to come off here but i have to be careful because i can see that it's kind of going to tear so i think what i'll do is just use it as it is pull that out I will use these little elements up here for something that I did want to show you. Quick, what a fun little pocket you can make. So you can stick this right here and make this into a pocket. It could be like a three-tiered pocket. You could do one here and one here as well. So just a few little ideas about processing these really big 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 greeting cards that you can often find like I said in the thrift stores uh, bundled together in a bag and they're huge and you just get so much paper and fun cool things um, if you just kind of look at them in a little bit of a different way I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thanks for hanging out with me talk to you soon bye